my name is Anira Mings. My name is Bryce Roberts. My name is Ronnie Marshall. My name is Letitia Salzman. My name is Christian White. And this is our project Over Momentum in Bowling. Y'all ready? Let's go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? You can't use that ball to bowl. Why not? Man, it's not enough. Man. Oh. Okay, come on, come on. We're going to Momentum is a quantity formed by the mass of an object and its velocity. It can be described in P, which is the momentum, equals the mass times velocity. The way you can, this is the way you calculate it. So in terms of momentum, momentum is nothing but when a force is applied and, us, and we're, since we're talking about bowling, there's usually no friction on the, fr on the surface. Therefore, it gives you a, the mass of the, of the bowling ball times the velocity which is your force that you that you put into the ball. Go. So to calculate the velocity, you have to, the change in velocity equals the change in position over the change in time, which gives, which gives you your velocity, which you'll use in the equation, which my colleague will talk about next. Alright guys, so as we explained earlier, momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So with this example what we're going to do here, we're going to try to figure out the momentum of the bowling ball when the guy bowled his ball. And we're doing this assuming that the ball was rolled in a straight line and neglecting friction. So we know that the guy used a 10 pound ball. Using some simple math, we were actually able to figure out that the 10 pounds is roughly 4.54 kilograms. So we need the velocity to calculate momentum. So we're going to calculate the average velocity by dividing the distance rolled, the distance of the bowling leg by the amount of time it took from the ball, from the ball leaving the guy's hand to hitting the first pin. So the bowling lane is about 60 feet. That equates to about 18.29 meters. So it took him about seven seconds to actually hit the first pin. So dividing 18.29 by seven seconds is gonna get us 2.613 meters per second. That's gonna be our velocity. So if we're gonna multiply the velocity of 2.613 meters per second by the, by the mass of the bowling ball, we're gonna get a momentum of roughly 11.863 joules or kilograms per, meter, kilograms per meters per second. section is talking about the gravity that is within the equation to um, calculate the momentum it takes to knock down the bowling pin. Now when you think about a bowling pin, you have to realize its shape, right? So a bowling pin is kind of shaped like that a little bit, it's kind of like right here. So like the center of the gravity of the bowling pin is right in the middle, right? Is like towards like the bottom of it or yeah. So that's where like most of the mass is, so that's where the gravity is which makes them more stable. And that's actually what makes bowling what's, you know, such a fun game because it's a challenge to knock down all the bowling pins. If they were, if the center of gravity was up more, like say, if the bowling pins look more like, like that, it'd be way easier to play and it wouldn't be as fun. But since the bowling pins are shaped the way they are, that makes it difficult, it makes it a funner game. My name is Amira Means and I'm going to talk to you about friction. When you think of bowling, you think of friction, right? Wrong. I want to talk to you about the concept of what happens when friction gets involved. Okay, when a ball is thrown down the lane, it slows down. Why? Because of friction. The magnitude of the friction between the bowling ball and the lane depends on what the surface is made of. Also, they put oil on the surface, which makes it feel like it's frictionless, but it's actually not. And it also depends on the mass of the ball. As the bowling ball travels down, the friction slows again. The density of the lane has a different effect of the ball on the lane. The more oil that is laid down, the less friction there is between the ball and the lane surface. 
the less friction, the harder it is to throw the ball to send in a curved path. Like when you have a, for instance, when you're trying to um, make the ball hit a split, when the two pins, one might be over here, another one might be over here, it's kind of hard to curve the ball because of the less friction. But if it was more friction, it would be a little bit more easier to curve the ball. And here's the equation to find kinetic friction. UK is, stands for the coefficient, excuse me, of kinetic friction. Um, FK stands for force due to kinetic friction. M stands for mass, and G stands for gravity. One of the most powerful laws in physics is law of moments and conservation. For any collision occurring in an, in, in an isolated system, momentum is conserved. Momentum transfers from one object to another, and in this case, momentum from the bowling ball is transferred to the pins. As you can see right here, momentum equals mass times velocity. And because these two equations equal each other, then the energy is neither lost nor gained. In the next video, watch the ball hit the pins. When the ball hits the pins, the momentum is transferred from the ball to the pins. That's why the pins flow in the direction they were hitting. So using the equation that we showed you earlier, m1 times v1 equal to m2 times v2, we're going to figure out the velocity of the first pin hit. So we're going to plug in our mass for the bowling ball, which is 4.54 kilograms, and the velocity for that bowling ball, average velocity for that bowling ball, which was 2.613 meters per second squared, which is going to be equal to the mass of the bowling pin and the velocity of the bowling pin, which we don't know. So our mass for bowling pin is going to be roughly 1.5 kilograms. So if we divide each side by 1.5 and do the math, we're going to get that the velocity of the first bowling pin hit is going to be 7.909 meters per second squared, roughly, neglecting, assuming that the ball is rolling a straight line and also neglecting friction in this equation. Like to say, da 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 da.